Hi, welcome back to the channel. This week we're going to create a glide baseline that's quite common in Forest Sign. So if you listen to this track that I'm working on, I just started it, just the bare bones at the moment. So I have this section here, let's just play from here I guess. So this section here, I want to drop out and replace with a glide bass. So I'm going to delete that and then the, the track and the progression will go from this bit here so with all the percussion into just the kick and bass into the glide bass with just with the closed hats and then drop back into just the kick and bass again with a bit of Atmos in the background. So the first step, let's duplicate the bass because it's essentially the same bass patch that you start with. Let's delete all of these except for one section, which we're going to move over to the main to where we want the glide bass to be. Let's loop that. So that's exactly the same as what we had it. So now on the MIDI, let's just do one bar for now. So expand that. Now what we want is instead of a sixteenth, let's delete all those, we're going to put in a series of quarter notes. And if we play this back just in isolation, it sounds like this. Just long drawn out sustained quarter notes. Now the trick is with a glide bass is if you add another note above or below and then you turn on the portamento so let's turn on mono and legato and then the portamento let's turn this up you will hear it slide from from the D sharp into the F. like that which is exactly what we're going for make sure on your door if you don't know your scales already you have something set up so you know which notes you're using I have mine set up to D sharp minor in Cubase you can see there that it's using the chord track on chords and scales set to D sharp minor so if I move the note up anything that goes red isn't in that scale so a1 isn't in the scale but G sharp 1 is so let's go back to F1 that we had well, let's go G sharp one for a start. Now the portamento time, you, this knob here, this determines how long it takes to slide from one note to the next. So if I increase this, you'll hear it takes quite a long time or a longer time to slide from D1 to F sharp one. Let's have a listen. So the longer times is like that really sloppy, trippy feeling. So I think I'm going to keep it there. That sounds quite good.
What you can then do is add note to the filter cutoff. And then what happens is when the note increases, then the filter cutoff will get higher. So it's already assigned, but let's just drag it up. Let's increase this. We can also add a LFO. So let's go envelope, put that onto one quarter because we have one quarter notes sequence here. And then we're going to put this up here and draw a bit of a curve like that. And then obviously they assign that to cut off also. Obviously that isn't doing much because we have a envelope assigned to cut off also. So let's disable that. Otherwise, basically they're offsetting or contradicting each other. So that's now off. So now you can hear it slide up. We can maybe draw in a little bit of a pattern. Let's see what this sounds like. It's kind of hard to restrain yourself from getting too much into drawing a pattern here. The trick is actually to keep it quite simple. We don't want too much melody. After all, it is forest. So this is now how it sounds after that. You'll notice that when we go from the rolling bass to the glide bass, it sounds like there's quite a bit of volume or bass disparity between the two. And that's really on account of the note length. So two things I would do to negate that, just turn the level down of the channel and then add a bit of low shelf EQ. Obviously the transition between these two needs a bit of work as well. That wouldn't be so abrupt, but uh, there you go. That's how you create a glide base in Serum. Oh, so it isn't a particularly novel feature to Serum. Any synth that has Portamento, this is possible in, which is most. So I hope you enjoyed that and I'll see you next week. Bye-bye. <laughs>